Hello friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide and we are on February 23rd, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet and welcome to the World Update where we look at, wow, a large meteor being sighted over Alberta. Many reports, many uh, doorbell video cameras recording the event overnight. This was yesterday morning, early yesterday morning, or sorry, overnight last night, early this morning. And as well, last night we had quite an event here. We had a thunder snowstorm, which created whiteout conditions on the Trans-Canada Highway and as well, thunderstorm conditions. So it quickly whipped through the city in about a half an hour, dropped five centimeters of snow, and we saw strong winds, lightning and thunder very intense over Alberta over the past 24 hours. Same with our sun, as I reported last night, the two sunspots active right now, earth facing, looking at the last 48 hours incoming images and outgoing. We did have a backside CME in the outgoing position. We'll look more into that on Lasco. Just wanted to give you a quick look here on these active small sunspot regions that are Earth-facing right now and departing. As well, that southern region plasma filaments still swirling around right now. We could have another plasma filament snap here soon. Definitely monitoring, keeping an eye, close eye on the sun right now. Having a look at all the images here. Sometimes the different spectrum can help you see things that you cannot. Like here, there is a large coronal hole. Something shot out of it right there. Boom. And under this light, you can see the coronal hole. Not all lights provide that visible effect of coronal holes and everything that's on the sun. Looking here, Lasco 2 image can see that uh, backside CME took off and it looks like that is Mercury incoming real-time solar wind we are uh, going down here we're at 467 right now but we were steady over 500 kilometers per second and we topped at 602 kilometers per second overnight but the last week we've had about three or four steady days of 500 kilometer per second and more solar winds as well the density has been quite up there almost 12 looking at the geomagnetic uh, geomagnetic activity and there is no watches in effect over alberta tonight we're also going to see northern lights so hopefully maybe we can see some northern lights and as well some meteors crazy Magnetic world. Schumann resonance today, a very low power of six and steady quality of 7.9. Let's get to earthquakes here the last 24 hours. That's the last 48. Here's the last 24 hours. And most recent, we're Start out here in Indonesia with a 4.4. Most recent, Langpalos, as well a 5.2 in Tobilo, Indonesia, 10 kilometer depth, 183 kilometer, 
kilometer depth, 4.5 Indonesia as well. 4.4 here, Nami, Japan. 4.5 Mongolia, Eastern Mongolia. Now they start to report the earthquakes. Hmm, interesting. 4.4, 4.5. Cross Papua New Guinea. Port Olroy, Vanuatu. 4.5, 5.0. As well, 4.9 there. Fortunus and Wallace. 5.1. And as well, a 5.1. Riverton, New Zealand. No deep earthquakes in the Tonga region today. And as well, a large 3.8 just reported in, over Hawaii. And that's on the western side of Mauna Loa. 4.0 recorded here. Unalaska, Alaska. Things quieting down there. Northwestern Plate. Stanley, Idaho. Seeing a small swarm there today as well Oregon with a 3.5 or sorry 3.0 2.6 there in California but no major quakes to report there over the North American plate 4.9 here in Mexico Guatemala is a rockin' today Nicaragua as well Tequila 3.9 Tajar Costa Rica as well, Dominican Republic, Virgin Islands are rocking away, South America, seeing a lot of activity today, actually, 4.6, 4.4 there, Argentina, another 4.6, Argentina, 114 kilometer depth, Chile, 4.6, and another one, Constitution, 4.2. And just recently, like just now as I was reporting this, here is our deepest earthquake the last 24 hours. 275 kilometer depth, a 4.3 in Bolivia. Moving on to the South Sandwich Islands with a 5.2. And one lonely earthquake to report here, 4.2 in Turkey. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes on the planet. And have a look at the last seven days as the deep earthquakes have... Uh, we haven't seen any large deep earthquakes in a few days. Kind of expecting them with all of the space weather. Central regions of America on watch. Very active Philippines and Indonesia correlation to all of the active volcanoes around the world if you haven't seen the update yet please see the video link is here in the description the last seven days very quiet europe and african plate so be on watch through loyalty islands and as well north american plate let's get to the five-day forecast brought to you by meteor earth and Meteo Mike, a.k.a. Morning Dew, a.k.a. Original Milkman, starting out here in Calgary, Alberta. As we're seeing seasonable temperatures now, after the last couple days, we had that Chinook move in. We're going to see minus double digits midweek as we do have a winter storm that is going to be moving in and dragging down some pretty cold temperatures from the Yukon, parts of Northwest Territories. Watch as the system floats through Ontario as well. Alberta Clipper forming. More detailed here. You can see a lot of snow in the next few days falling on the BC coastline. And as well, warm temperatures roller coastering over this next week as the systems come through. Ahead of the system, we get the Pacific moisture. And on the backside, we get the north winds. So that's just the way the cookie crumbles. Overlooking uh, the United States, uh, southeastern parts, and moving northward. We do have a nor'easter forming. Cold temperatures looming on the west. System developing here in Texas. 
could see some pretty wild weather through Alabama, Georgia, up into the Carolina states. And you're definitely going to see some snow, parts of Tennessee and the Appalachians moving northward with that system. Ontario, you definitely will be seeing at least a 5 to 15 centimeter snowpack after this system goes through. Northwestern parts of the United States watch as cold temperatures persist. Snow will f keep falling uh, across parts of Nevada and Utah. Central America, not too much to talk about. No systems moving in. South America, same thing. Daily evaporation rains. No major systems to talk about, except for the border with Brazil and Ar Argentina. Overlooking Africa, you're going to be seeing quite a transition in temperatures across northern parts as snow is forecasted for parts of higher elevations in Algeria, Morocco, and then extreme warm temperatures are going to be moving in in the long range forecast parts of Central Africa, looking at a high of 41 without the Cumdex. South Africa, Madagascar, both going to be on flood watch as a system moves in. And it could actually gain strength in the next 24 hours because it is a low pressure system tightly whipped. We could watch that turn into a cyclone in the next 24 hours. Going to be keeping an eye on that. It is an area of interest. Overlooking Europe, mostly dry across the central and west western parts of Europe and as well above seasonable but the temperatures are going to be dropping in the long range throughout parts of northeastern Europe and as well United Kingdom watch for the same thing that uh, North America is dealing with a roller coaster event of temperatures overlooking Russia low pressure system moving through and as well, a big system going to be moving out of China and into the Pacific in the long range forecast. And, and it's going to join up with the large low pressure system over Kamchatka. Watch for intense winds with this very strong winds and a long line of moisture being whipped behind it. Thanks to this strong high pressure ridge, it's just keeping it spinning. Overlooking Micronesia, Indonesia. Daily evaporation rains, nothing major except for Papua New Guinea. And then we also have another cyclone forming here. Not going to be affecting humanity at all. Overlooking Australia. Southeastern regions, parts of Sydney and the coastline. Moving northward, watch for daily pop-up thunderstorms as the system moves away from the coastline parts of Queensland and Northern Territory Northeastern Territory you'll see rain this week and parts of Northwestern Australia clearing out and most likely warming up again but we could see a few systems develop here in the long range forecast things could change quickly that's all we can say we're going to leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern, pointing out the major systems spinning on our planet. I want to thank everybody for watching today. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you don't miss an update. Hit all so you don't miss a thing. Staying aware and prepared with Morning Dew. Thanks for watching. Stay young and have fun. God bless humanity. Bye bye.
you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.